I'm about to tell you one of the secrets of the pros when it comes to urethane. What's up guys, Brunsnick's back, and we're gonna talk about why pros always have a 16 pound urethane ball in their bag and why it's important. Before we get to that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, let's take a look at this black urethane in 16 versus 15. All right, what do you know? Another urethane video, and of course, Urethane balls do not get softer. Find the merch on InsideBowling.com. We're gonna do a test, and I'm gonna talk about why pros use 16 pound balls sometimes in a black hammer and why it's different. So I have a 15 pound black hammer. I'm gonna throw a couple shots. We're gonna look at the numbers. We're gonna look at this flare. We're gonna look at all that. And we're gonna talk about it. I've thrown a couple shots with each ball to equalize the surfaces to get a little bit of oil on them. Oil doesn't make them softer. Oil is a lubricant, not a solvent. May make it read softer from a durometer because that machine was made a long time ago. Can't really keep up with today's product. So let's throw a couple shots. I'm just gonna try to get lined up with urethane like I like to do. A little bit oily out there today. Got the crown jewel pattern out there, just my normal, typical house shot. A lot of oil in the middle. A lot of dry outside. Let's just take a look at this flare here real quick. See if we can get it nice and close on that. You can see the flare, not a whole lot. Maybe one or two, three, four, I can count them. Four flare rings and they're all very tight to one another. So that's what I get out of purple hammer, black hammer, it's all the same. I got the same layout, four inch by 20. And uh, there's not a whole lot of craziness that goes on with it. There's not a lot of flare. I don't want the ball to flare, you know, for the most part. Uh oh, that's way out in the gutter. All right, so gutters aren't chirping today. So I may not want a whole lot of flare for most of the stuff I see, but would a pro want more flare? And why was that important? And we're gonna talk about it as soon as I could strike with this 15 pounder, let me tell you. Sometimes it takes me a couple shots to get lined up with urethane, and once I do, game over for everybody else. All right, let's get lined up. All right. I look pretty good. So let's switch it over to the 16 pound ball. Let's throw a shot. This one might hook a little bit more because it might be just a little bit duller right now at a box. I'm throwing about five, six shots with it to try to get some in there, some oil in there to kind of equalize it. But I've definitely used the black 15 pound quite a bit over the last couple months. So let's throw that same shot. I don't remember where I was. That sounds good. This looks right. That's store shot right there. Obviously it hooked a lot more there. And I think if we surface scan this, it's gonna be a little bit duller right now, less games on it obviously. But there's one thing that I really, really wanna show you. And this is the reason why pros have a 16 pound urethane ball in their bag. And if we can see it, what do we see? More track flare. But now I'm getting about two inches of flare out of this ball as opposed to just the, you know, this much versus this much. Is that a whole lot of difference? No. But when it comes down to professional bowling and professional bowlers looking for every little bit of edge is the most important thing. Now, if my rev rate was higher, this number would be ballooned up even higher. But my rev rate's not that high. It is what it is. I'm gonna throw another shot, but I'm gonna move in left. I wanna get in a little bit more in the oil. Maybe I can't uh, bump up my numbers a little bit, see a little more flare. What a shot. And also, since the PBA enforced the 78 hardness rule, the black hammer hooks just a little bit less. So you'll notice that the black hammer comes out of the box a little bit duller than purple, right? And so having a little bit more flare is gonna get it just a little bit closer to that purple reaction on tour. 
Obviously with surface and a little bit more flare, you can get there. So now let's look and we can see in that shot, probably got about three inches of flare total. And so this ball flares a little bit. Why is that important and why is that different? Well, when you go from a 16 pound ball to a 15 pound ball on a thick shell, which these are, it's just cover stock and inner core. The way that has to change is the core has to slightly change in density, sometimes size and shape, but for the most part, a little bit more dense, so it has a little more flare. How much more flare? Double. The differential is 030, as opposed to the original one, which is about half that. That's a big difference. Huge difference, if you ask me. But can you handle a 16 pound ball? Should you have a 16 pound ball in your bag? I mean, that's getting pretty advanced, right? If you have a urethane ball, you either can use it or you can't. If you can't, you go to resin. That's the end of the story. For the pros, having that extra ball in their bag, having a ball that maybe flares a little bit more when they need that ball to dig and create more friction. Because the more surface it can create and bring to the lane, the more surface it can touch. That's what I mean. The more it can hook and grip. Because that's the whole thing. You need this ball to slow down. You need it to roll early and pick up. The other reason that 16 pound ball and a urethane ball makes total sense is because urethane balls create a lot less entry angle to the pins. By design, they create a lot earlier roll, a lot e earlier read, so the entry angle is gonna go a lot lower. It's not reactive. It doesn't come off that spot with a bang. So, having more weight will create less deflection overall, so more pin carry. For the most part, if you can handle it, if you can throw it at the same speed as a 15, you will carry more strikes, you will hit harder. And you can just see all that flare. Big difference. Let's go back to the 15 and go in that zone right there. This thing's gonna feel light now. All right, same zone. I'm gonna try to crank it up like I have been with that ball. Try to keep it inside that second L right around. Okay, difference between rep 10 and a flush strike. So I'm gonna hit this ball with just a little pad just to touch it up, just to kind of clean the surface up, get all the oil out of it, and we're gonna try again. All right, just hit it with a uh, nice 800 pad. I know it's not the box surface, just what I had to grab, but if we were to test this on a durometer now, it probably would go up a few more points. So does surfacing a ball make the ball harder? Is it magic? Do surface pads need to be banned? I don't know. All right, I also did this, not for it to just hook more, but also to really see the flare when I'm really trying to give it some rotation. <laughs> surface is your friend. The difference between a wrap 10 and a kick 10 with a messenger. So let's look at the difference there. Now that we got some fresh surface on here. But yeah, I mean, we're talking not a whole lot of flare right here. I mean, we're real narrow and it kind of bow ties here at the most inch and a half. So once again, it kind of falls in line with that differential. Double the differential, double the flare. Let's throw one more shot right there. Let's try to get a crunchy one, huh? Let's wipe this off. Yeah, I've seen guys hit these with 180, 360, everything, just to get it to pick up and go. Got a hook. Come on. All right. Let's go back to the 16. Let's throw some shots. See, that's one of those hits you're going to give up. You know, with a 16 pound ball, would that carry? I'll try. I'm gonna try to go a little bit light mixer in a couple shots, we'll just see where they all fall. All right, back to the 16 pounder. See if we can't get that same Wally hit. See if I can get that carry going off that side. Look at this. I still have an old 16 pound ball. 
that before even I got on Brunswick staff, Pink Stingray from Columbia drilled straight over the label, no funny business. And that ball was a beast. Didn't flare a whole lot, and it flared nothing. But that's what bowling balls did back then. All the times when I've had a urethane ball that flared, it wasn't always a great one for me. But a little bit of flare is okay. A lot of flare, it kind of messes it up a little bit, I think. Now would I use something like this in competition? Or would I just stick to purple? I'm not a pro. I don't need to have black. But in all the times when I've used purple and I want to stay in the same zone, I can always switch to black. Now if I switch to just my 15 pounder from my 15 pounder, it might be a little bit weak. It might be perfect, I don't know. But having two options, having a 16 pounder might be the way to go. Or even better, having a 16 pound purple hammer because it'll do the exact same thing. It'll flare more, more performance. So let's throw one more shot with the 16. I hope we talked a lot about why that a pro might use this and why they almost always have this in their bag. And of course, I'm talking about our guys. Obviously, competitor brands are not going to throw it. They don't have this kind of option in their bag. They don't even have a real urethane ball in their bag. But they change the rules. We change the tools. They want 78. Here you go. Here's 78. Hang on. All right. Yeah, science is fun, kids. Anyway, so that's my talk about 15 pounds, 16 pounds, the secret of the pros, and why they use a 16 pound urethane black hammer now. It used to be purple. But hope you guys learned a little bit, maybe an insight into the Pro Tour and every advantage they're gonna use to their ability to make strikes and make money out on tour. So urethane's a big part of the game. A lot of guys use them. If you have any questions, put them down below, read them all. Check out the merch on InsideBowling.com, links in the description. I'll talk to you guys later. Please subscribe.